Within this lesson, the objective is to divide three and four digit dividends by two digit divisors resulting in two and three digit quotients. Let's first look at this problem. 380 divided by 18. What is the three worth in this number? Right, three hundreds. Can we divide three hundreds by 18? We can't divide three by 18, so we cannot divide three hundreds by 18. However, we can look at the 38. The 38 is worth what in that number? It's 38 tens. Can we divide 38 tens by 18? And the answer to that is, yes, we can. What is an estimate that helps us with this? If we look at the divisor, the divisor is close to 20. And 38 tens is close to 40. 40 tens divided by 20, then. That would be 40 tens divided by 10, divided by 2. 40 tens divided by 10 is 4, and f that's 4 tens, that is, and divided by 2 is 2 tens. So this will help us in figuring out the answer with this estimate here for 380 divided by 18 start showing you that standard algorithm here. Here's 380, here's 18, and remember we st started with, could we go ahead and divide 18 into those 300s, that 300s by, divided by 18, and the answer to that was no, that's why we regrouped it, and we went 18 into 38, or those 38 tens, where we got that, we said it could go into whole times for 2 times 18, that was from our estimate, is 36, and that does work. 38 minus 36 is 2. I would bring down the 0, and now I'm working with those 21s, and I can see right there that that would be 1, because 1 times 18 is 18, so 20 minus 18 is 2, with 2 being our remainder. So our estimate and that process is helping us figure out the exact answer. And of course, we could check that as well. Here I have another problem. 827 divided by 37. And I've also written it right here. We start with this 8. And this 8 is worth 8 hundreds. And we see whether or not we can divide that 8 hundreds by that 37. Can we? Nope, we can't. So, we go ahead and look at that 8 with that 2. And the 82, then, within that number is worth 82 tens. And then, so we're thinking now at this point, can we divide 82 tens by 37? And in this case, we can, because 37 can go into 82. An estimate would help us. So 37 is close to 40, and if we count by multiples of 40, 40, 80, that would be 80 tens divided by 40. 80 divided by 40 is 2, and we're talking about tens, so that would be 2 tens. And that is why that 2 goes directly above the other 2 there, within that number there. That is, our estimate should help us in figuring out the exact answer. 2 times 37, 2 times 7 is 14, 4, regroup the 1, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, and then we have 82 minus 74, which is 8. Could we make another group of 37 out of that 8? No, we can't. And then remember, that was worth 8 tens. So we bring down the 7, so now we're working with 87 ones. And then we are able to work with those 87 ones and also divide it again, and divide it in this case by 37. 
So we're going 87 ones divided by 37. And again, we can go ahead and use an estimate to help us figure out how many times 37 goes into those 87 ones. In this case, it's 80 ones. And then 80 divided by 40 still is 2. And then so that would be 2 ones. And that's why that 2 goes directly above the ones place. 2 times 37 is 74. And 87 minus 74 is 13. 13 is our remainder. How many ones remained? It was 13 ones that remained. And could we make another group of 37 with those 13 ones? No. So that's why it is that our quotient there then is 22 with a remainder of 13. Let's complete a check just to make sure. I've written that whole equation right there, 827 divided by 37 equals 22 remainder 13. You do. Run the check. Pause that video. Did you set up your check correctly? Ideally, you'll be able to do this to set it up. And what do we do with that remainder again is that we add it back on in. And then so that would be 827, which matches with what we had and what we were dividing. Your turn here. Go ahead and divide. Use estimates to help you if you need them. Pause that video. Remember the first step is to see whether or not 15 can go into those 200s. See if we can break apart those 200s by 15. We can't, so we now look at the 21, which is worth 21 tens. We can divide 21 tens by 15. We could have used an estimate to be able to help us. If we did, it would end up being, um, see, 20 tens divided by 20 would have been the estimate that helped us the most, in which case that would only be 1 and 110. And that's why that 1 goes directly above the fifth of the 1 within the 213. 1 times 15 is 15. 21 minus 15 is 6. And that 6 tens that we regroup to the ones place, to put it together, we get 63 ones. The estimate that helps us there. We have 63 ones divided by 15. <clears throat> the estimate, I'm looking at it, I know that it's going to be 4. Now, if I did estimate it, there's 20 here, I would have estimated it to 60 ones divided by 20, which would have been 3, which would have been too few. And to see, just see that, it would have been 15 times 3, which is 45. And then if we went 63 minus 45, we would have gotten 18. And 18 there is actually enough to have another group. Um, we could take another of those 15 out, and that's why it is that that doesn't work. That's why we adjust our um, answer there to 4. And then 4 times 15 is 60. 63 minus 60 is 3. And 3 is our remainder. So 213 divided by 15 is 14 with the remainder of 3. If you did a check, give yourself a pat on the back, you would have used 14 times 15. 0, 2, 7, 0, 1, 4, 210 plus 3 equaling 213. Okay, let's walk through a final problem here. Here's 865 divided by 41. Again, we're taking 865 divided by 41, and so 41 is our divisor. Our divisor, if we are estimated, is close to 40. And so thinking about dividing by 40 can help us with understanding how to divide by 41. It can help us choose what it is that we want to put within our answer here. We start with 41 into 8, 
and whether or not that we can divide those eight hundreds by 41. And in this case, we cannot divide eight by 41, so we cannot divide eight hundreds by 41. We regroup it then to the tens place along with the six. So the 86 tens there is divisible by 41. We use an estimate to go ahead and help us figure out how many times that goes in. And in that estimate, we use 40 there, and then it, so it's 80 tens divided by 40. 80 tens divided by 40 is 2 tens, and that's why we can put a 2 right over the 6 right there in the tens place, because that's what it is that we're dividing there. 2 times 41, and that's 2 tens times 41, is going to equal 82 tens, and that's why it's right there within our problem. 86 minus 82 is 4. Those 4 tens get regrouped with that 5, which was worth 5 ones, to give us 45 ones. And I can see right there that 45 ones divided by 41 is going to be 1. 1 times 41 is 41. 45 minus 41 is 4. Remember to write our remainder there. Our check again would be 41 times 21, and then we would add in that 4. 